Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, we're gonna try a really fun technique using dyes to create embossed background panels. Now, obviously if you've got a cover plate die or stencils, then you can do this, but what if you've got lots of smaller dies like flowers and butterflies? How could you turn these into a background? So I've got my impressions pad from Sizzix that works with my Big Shot. I've got a couple of card panels to the right that I've already cut down to size. And I'm gonna bring in my Big Shot machine and I'm gonna show you how this works. So with your platforms, you'll get instructions on each platform as to what that platform can be used for. And with the impressions pad, you can see here, you need the red, your base plate, the red plate, a cutting pad, and then you place the dies facing up, then your card stock on top, then the rubber mat, and then the impressions pad. So you'll see that in a minute. I'm gonna use this grid. This is from my waffle flower grip mat, but I really needed just some kind of grid lines to help me line up the dies so that I know they're gonna fit nicely on the card panel. So I'm just working out where my card panel will go on the grid lines, and then I'm just gonna use that to help me decide where I'm gonna place the dies down. So you wanna make sure that they're facing face up, so the cutting edge is facing up, and then I'm just gonna arrange them all over that, um, all over my cutting pad. So remember, I've got my grid mat underneath the cutting pad. So the cutting pad is what is on top. And then I'm lining all these um, floral dies on that. Now, of course, if you don't have a waffle flower grip mat and these grid lines, you could use the Sizzix sticky grids. So you might have one of those that you could use underneath your cutting pad. Uh, but wherever works for you, you might be able to line it all up on your grid mat and then tack it all in place. But I just found this easier today. So I've put the card stuck on, I've ran it through my machine, and now you can see this gorgeous embossed panel. So you could use this either side, really. You could use it on the front or the back, whichever, whether you want the debossed or the embossed side. So yeah, it looks really, really pretty. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing now with these butterfly dies. Um, all the dies that I'm using today are from Alina Crafts. I will link as many products as I can in the description box below as always, so if there's anything you're particularly interested in, um, have a little look there and they should be listed for you. So once I'm happy with the layout of those, I'm gonna place my cardstock on top of them and then coming in with the rubber mat and then the impressions pad. And again, we'll just run that through the die cutting machine. It's really important when you're using the uh, rubber mat and the impressions pad that you only run it through once. Uh, you don't want anything to shift. Um, and then you can see this beautiful embossed butterfly background panel that we've been able to create without an embossing folder and just using our dies. So this is another great way of using your dies. If you don't have many embossing folders, you can still create beautiful embossed background panels uh, using your dies. So we're now going to watercolour these. Now, this might look a bit like a hot mess on camera. I promise you when the card is finished, it's going to look really, really pretty. But all I'm using is watercolours, uh, water and paintbrushes, and I'm just painting those embossed areas carefully, making sure that I stay inside the lines as best as possible. But I just want to capture some colour on all of those raised areas. And I'm just blending colours together. So uh, on the flowers, I've used a darker colour in the centre, and then I've used a lighter colour on the edges, and it's just kind of drawn that out together. Now, of course, you could colour these with coloured pencils, alcohol markers, whatever you prefer to colour with. You don't have to use watercolours. It's just my preferred method of colouring here. So here's our two finished panels. So again, let's see how we can turn these into cards. So for the butterflies one, I've gone and die cut a load of the outline butterfly dies from silver, metallic silver cardstock. And I'm just adding some glue to the centre of the butterflies and I'm just sticking those over the bodies that we haven't coloured on the card panel. I'm just using some quick grab glue here, but of course you could die cut using double sided adhesive sheets if that's what you prefer to use. And then I'm just going to use my trimmer to just trim off the excess. Then I've got this beautiful um, thank you die from Alina Crafts. Now, all I'm gonna use for the large part is the thank, and then I've got a smaller sentiment with you. And I'm just gonna add a little black matte layer to that and use the two different fonts. And I think that is quite effective on a card. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to the white thank and attach that to the black shadow outline that I've um, die cut. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of foam tape to the back of that to pop that up on the card front. I've added some foam tape to the U as well. And then we can stick those down in the center of the card, just slightly to the right. Um, that's where I want my sentiment to be today. 
I've also gone ahead and cut a matte layer of the silver metallic cardstock. So again, I'm just using the liquid glue to stick that down. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna add a few little gems. These gems are from scrapbook.com and they're really pretty. I love the fact that there's a variety of sizes in the packet. And I'm just gonna use the glue and my tweezers just to get these stuck down. I'm gonna attach this whole panel to a little black matte layer. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna attach the whole front to a five by seven card blank. And then that is the first panel turned into a card. And I hope you agree with me that I just think it looks really pretty. I think it's really effective just having the embossed layers underneath and then those lovely silver outlines on top. So for our second card panel, I'm just gonna go around the edges with these micron fine liners that I've got. The colors that I had in my pack matched perfectly. Um, so I'm just going around the edges with a green, an orange and a purple. Now the green pen is um, kind of dying really. Uh, so I'm trying to think what else I can use and I've got this lovely green metallic uh, gel pen from Arteza so I'm just going to use that to go around the green uh, flowers because yeah the micron pen was I was just really struggling with it basically the end's gone completely frayed and blunt so once I've gone around all of those elements with all of the different colors I think it just kind of helped frame the elements a little bit better and just make them pop especially as we won't be covering these up with dyes I'm going to add a little bit of gold acrylic paint splatters just to the background, just for a little bit of added interest. I did add some splatters on the previous card as well. Uh, unfortunately, I've done that off camera. So uh, yeah, I just think it just finishes off the card nicely. For a sentiment, I've got this lovely Hello die. I've cut this out of holographic cardstock. And again, I've used the shadow outline in black cardstock. So I'm just going to glue that down. You could, of course, use double-sided adhesive sheets here as well. And then for the Sending Hugs sentiment, uh, I'm also going to add a little bit of foam tape to the back of that as well. So once they're all stuck down, I've then die cut a butterfly, uh, the outline butterfly in black cardstock. And I'm just going to add some glue to the body of the butterfly and pop that in the top right hand corner so that the wings stay popped up. And then I'm going to add a few of those gems from scrapbook.com again just to finish off the card. And then once I've done that, I'm going to attach the whole front to a 5x7 card blank using some liquid glue. And then that is the second card finished for today. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you've enjoyed seeing this little technique video. I hope that it's given you some inspiration of ways that you can use your dyes. As always, I've added some close-up photos and all the products will be linked in the description box below. And thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.